chicken meat Every time I touch that track it turns into gold go to the library because you can check out books and videos, there's so many books there, you can surf the web. Where I like to go is to the mall. I like to go to the skate park because, well, I have lots of friends there and I love to um, feel the wind in my hair. Jupiter is because it's fun and there's an upstairs and downstairs. And um, if you go downstairs, there's cool games and like this little machine to use your tickets. Mm -hmm. And you get to eat pizza, drink um, soda, watch TV. And there's like this little mini bowling alley that you could go to and it's really cool. To the show and pool, that's my favorite place to go because like, I like hanging out with my friends there and they have water slides and I love water slides. Um, I like to go sometimes to movies, I like to go to gymnastics practice, I also like to go camping on weekends, we go, actually next weekend we're going to this really cool haunted house and we're just camping there for a couple week days. I like to go to the Champagne Public Library. I like to go to Jupiter's because it's fun and I like to eat their pizza. I think the resource that people use the most in the community is the library. The library has like lots of materials that they can read for pleasure. They can read it for school. Um, there's videos there they can use. There are computers there they can use. They have different book clubs for the kids. They operate all year round and they're open from 9 to 9 every day except for Sunday. Um, there are kids there doing research all the time whenever I'm there and using the computers and things like that. So I think it's an excellent resource that the Champaign-Urbana community has. Actually quite a few, but one that I know of in particular is the Champaign Church of Christ. They um, have adopted the Westview School. They transformed the teacher's lounge. Um, they also volunteer with uh, and are mentors for students. Um, I think there's like seven or eight members that come and actually mentor students. Um, the WVOW TV station, um, our tech guy from the church comes over and has trained them how to do things. So they're able to do things they've never been able to do before. Um, and so that's very cool. They also um, supported the um, uh, they were helpful with the, at the beginning of school, making sure we had school supplies. And St. Pete's Church next door also did a uh, drive and had school supplies for the teachers in the classrooms. Um, I know Newberry's comes in and they teach like Taekwondo is a, like an after school thing for a couple, um, I forget, like maybe for a month, two months, so that's kind of cool. And they, um, they also come in and do classes on self-control and different things like that. It's very neat and very positive for the kids. Uh, the U of I has a wonderful positive impact on the school and uh, it offers people employment opportunities. We get student teachers and uh, students from U of I that help out in many, many ways in the schools. Um, volunteering and also doing it through classes for class credit. Uh, it has wonderful cultural events. Many of the students get involved in the athletic events. Um, the athletic teams have always been very supportive of the South Side and they send over people to do different activities with the students. They have assemblies where they talk about their programs. They really give a positive role model to the children here at South Side. Um, we have a good connection with the volleyball team. I think it's Mr. Morrison who you're also talking to. Um, and they come and they do an assembly and then we have a Westview night over at the um, Huff Hall and it's a lot of fun. The kids get to help participate in different actions like collect tickets and things like that. Um, I know part of the university they did the Chancellor's Academy this summer and I participated in that and that was very impactful because we used the things that we researched and learned there um, to totally revamp um, the entire school's reading and literacy program. So that was very cool. Um, I know the three fifth grade teachers did a um, science uh, classes this summer, um, chemistry and physics, 
and that was also presented through the U of I. Occasionally we get like free tickets to sporting events so the kids actually get to go to some of the sporting events and that's very exciting for them to be able to be on campus and actually participate, you know, in one of the activities. So. I got the magic.